And good afternoon. I'm James Stratton cutting into programming right now to bring you breaking news. An apparent large explosion and fire in Marengo, Iowa, located about 90 minutes east of the metro, Iowa County. Our Bo Bowman just got to the scene. Bo, tell us what you're seeing there. Well, James, this has been going on for about two hours now, and it's still a very active scene. They've got us staged quite a bit away from the fire going on. You can see the flame or the smoke just billowing out from that building across that cornfield there. Uh, a lot a very heavy uh, fire truck presence here. Of course, there's a lot of police, just all of those lights blinking. You can see how big of a deal this is. Uh, the wind is we're on the east side of town and the wind is blowing this over the rest of the town of Marengo, the city did release um, a few messages on social media telling people um, where they need to evacuate and to stay inside if you're inside this the city of Marengo. Again, we're about a uh, half mile east of town and you can see those uh, plumes of smoke just billowing up from that uh, from that situation over there. Uh, again, this is in Marengo. It happened at about 1115. We're unaware of any injuries at this point, but on, as we were on our way into town, we did see an ambulance headed back toward Interstate 80 there, headed south um, with their sirens on and uh, moving pretty fast. So um, we'll, we're going to learn more information here as this develops. We're hoping to speak with officials here later today once they get this situation under control. But for now, we're in Marengo. Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa News Leader. And Bo, while we have you, can, can I ask you a couple of questions? First, tell us about the, the size of the smoke and the smoke plume as you come from the west and, and saw this. You sent video into our newsroom as well. Yeah, James, we first saw it when we were about three and a half miles outside of town. So it's visible from a long ways away, despite all the fog that's in the air today. Um, and it's just in going over the entire city. It's hard to tell from this vantage point from the east. But when you when we drove in from the south, it just goes up and straight over all the water towers, the entire city, really. Um, and you can see there's even still some flames there that they're trying to put out inside the bu building there. If we zoom in close, um, and yeah, it's still just a very active scene right now. And we're waiting to hear more information um, from officials. Bo Bowman on the 800 block of East South Street, correct, Bo? The southeast side there of Marengo, about 90 minutes east of the Des Moines Metro. And yeah, James, that's right. Um, it. Go ahead, Bo. Tell us sorry, what, sorry, what, James. what you can yes, tell this us is on, scene. This is on the southeast side of town, and we're further east than that on a gravel road just so we could get this good vantage point, but also be safe. Uh, like I said, the city is warning people that live close to this uh, situation that um, they do need to evacuate their homes. Anyone who hasn't done that yet, if you need a place to go, the Iowa County Transportation Office is a place where you can go. Uh, they run some of the bus services here in town, um, but those are options for you for you if you still haven't evacuated yet, but um, we're staying safe, staying a safe, safe distance away from it and on the east side of town where the wind won't blow this smoke towards us. And Bo, have you seen any uh, roads in the area blocked off as you went through town? Um, headed into town, no, there's no roads blocked off. Inside of town though, yes, uh, the main street that uh, runs north and south is um, blocked off towards the um, at an intersection that would uh, on South Street take you east towards this uh, this what appears to be a factory. Um, but other than that, I mean, there, we can just see a lot of uh, emergency crews um, in the area shutting down. Yeah, it's primarily East South Street on the southeast side of Marengo. Okay. Our Bo Bowman there, uh, of course, we will be with him throughout the afternoon as he and photographer Brandon Green continue to follow that story. To recap, the 800 block of East South Street, the southeast side of Marengo there. People in the area asked to evacuate their homes. This is uh, what the explosion, apparent explosion and fire looked like 
earlier in the day. This viewer photo sent in to us an unknown number of people hurt, unknown number of people evacuated. If you are to evacuate, you're asked to go to the county transportation building. That fire, as you heard, saw from uh, Bo and Brandon shot still being fought there on the southeast side of town. The business itself is a grain elevator and soybean crusher, according to property records. Uh, we are trying to figure out the number of people, if anyone was hurt, uh, and what exactly caused that explosion at that grain elevator and soybean crusher. And this is the image that Bo sent to the newsroom as he drove into town with uh, Brandon Green. You can see that large plume of smoke, as he mentioned, running east to west there in the town of Marengo. This is in Iowa County, the county seat, 90 minutes roughly east of the Des Moines Metro. And that smoke uh, is what people are being evacuated for is because of the uh, potentially toxic residue from that smoke, according to our Bo Bowen. Of course, stay with KCCI through the day for continuing coverage from Marengo. We will be live uh, on our social media pages as needed, as of course at 5 and 6 p.m. and on our mobile app, get our uh, breaking news alerts there, as well as live on KCCI.com. We will now return you to regular programming. We will break back in if need be.